differences between critical value approach versus p-value approach. Critical value approach versus p-value approach. The critical value approach involves determining likely or unlikely by determining whether or not the observed test statistic is more extreme than would be expected if the null hypothesis were true. The critical value approach is find whether or not the observed test statistic is more extreme than a defined critical value. Therefore, the observed test statistic, calculated on basis of sample data, is compared to the critical value, some kind of cutoff value, while p value can be defined as probability of point estimate occurring if the hypothesized value is true. Furthermore, p value, or probability value, is a number describing how likely it is that your data would have occurred by random chance that the null hypothesis is true. In simple words, p-value is the observed level of significance. The range of z-test and test for critical approach is that the test value is greater than table value reject h0. If the test value is less than table value then do not reject h0, while in p-value approach, p-value is less than 5%, then reject h0 and results will be significant and if p-value is greater than 5%, then do not reject H0 and results will be insignificant for both Z-test and T-test under p-value approach. The critical value approach compare scores, while p-value approach compare areas. In critical value approach, acceptance or rejection region used to check computed value of test statistics falls in rejection or not. There are no region just we use area to subtract it from total probability which is one in p-value approach. Critical value approach is less used approach because many software and tests when computed mainly ignore critical value approach and give priority to p-value approach while p-value approach is more used by numerous softwares and tests but gives same decision as like critical value approach. Range of Z-test and T-test for critical value approach is same. Critical value of Z-test and T-test with N-1 degree of freedom are find in table by using 95% confidence level, one tail test left, one tail test right and two tail test, in many software like MS Excel, R, Stata also compute table value based on critical value approach of any test statistic, while p-value is also computed either manually from table or from software and used to decide the results are significant or not and null hypothesis is rejected or not. In short, every test statistics has a p-value to go with it. There is no synonym of critical value approach but in software it is represented by Z critical, T critical, or F critical, etc., while, the synonyms of p-value are probability value or significance or sig. The critical value approach is used for hypothesis testing to help you support or reject the null hypothesis. A critical value defines regions in the sampling distribution of a test statistic. These values play a role in both hypothesis tests and confidence intervals while a p-value is also used in hypothesis testing to help you support or reject the null hypothesis. The p-value is the evidence against a null hypothesis and decide that results are statistical significant or not. It is important tip that is if null hypothesis is rejected in critical value approach then null hypothesis must be rejected in p-value approach while it is important tip that is if null hypothesis is rejected in p-value approach then null hypothesis must be rejected in critical value approach. Critical value of t-test with n-1 degree of freedom is computed only from table. In some software like MS Excel also compute table value of t-test while 
p-value is also computed either manually from student t-table or z-table or from software and used to decide the results are significant or not and null hypothesis is rejected or not. In short, every test statistic has a p-value to go with it. There are six steps in critical value approach such as Number one step is state null and alternative hypothesis. Number two step is select significance level, alpha. Number three step is calculate test statistic based on sample. Number four step is find critical value of the test statistic. Number five step is computed and tabulated values of test statistic such as Z test or T test. If value of test statistics falls in rejection region reject H0. Otherwise, don't reject H0. Number six step is interpret the results of the hypothesis test. While, there are also six step in p-value approach such as. Step one is state null and alternative hypothesis. Step two is select significance level, alpha. Step 3 is calculate test statistic based on sample. Step 4 is determine p-value. Step 5 is if p-value is less than alpha which is 5%, reject ho otherwise do not reject h0. Step 6 is interpret the results of the hypothesis test. Diagram for getting idea of how we compare both critical value approach and p-value approach. In critical value approach we compare score. The shaded area are given for two tail test, one tail test left side and one tail test right side. The critical values are tabulated test statistics values which becomes benchmark where rejection regions start. If computed value of test statistics falls in shaded area which is rejection region to reject H0 otherwise do not reject H0. While, on the other hand the seven diagrams are given for p-value approach to compare area of probability and the area's area are also shaded as well. Comparing MS Excel formula of critical value approach versus p-value approach. For Z test and T test for two tail test, one tail test, left side, and one tail test, right side. Hand calculation of Z test by using Z table, for 95 confidence interval with 5% level of significance. For two tailed test, 0.5 divided by 2 is equal to 0.025 after that subtract 0.025 from 0.5 which is equal to 0.4750 inside Z table value. After finding this value in Z table we get column and row top value of Z critical value of plus minus 1.96 for two tailed test. For one tailed test, left side and right side, subtracting 0.05 from 0.5 to get 0.4500 which is inside Z table value. After finding 0.4500 in Z table we get column and row top value of Z critical value of minus 1.65 and plus 1.65. For left and right side. It is important tip that left side critical value must be negative. While on the other hand the hand calculation of p-value approach of z-test gives probability value of 0.0286 for two tail test. The diagram will help you how we find value in z-table of negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Hand calculation of t-test in critical value approach by using student t-distribution table of critical values of t, for 95% confidence interval with 5% level of significance. For two-tailed test with degree of freedom is equal to 25 minus 1 equal to 24 and t-critical in table is 2.0639 which is t-test lower value as well in p-value approach. 
while for one tailed test with degree of freedom is equal to 25 minus 1 equal to 24, and t critical in table is 1.7109 same as t critical value is calculated in MS Excel software. Here how you will determine tabulated value of t critical. While, in p-value approaches there are two equation you can solve for x by using equation 2 that is we will select two t-test values in which calculated t-test falls between them and two significance levels. We and get its value after that put value of x in equation 1 we get one tail test p-value which is 0.0207 after multiplying it with 2 to get two tail test p-value of test which is 0.0414. How to get critical values and p-value of t-test from table? In short, we find Z critical values from inside probability to column and row values in critical value approach. In other words, we search calculated probability which we will search in table inside and then add column and row value to get Z critical values of two tailed test, one tailed test either left or right. It is important tip that left side Z critical value will be always negative in two tailed test left side and one tail test left side. It is important tip that is after searching 0.45 probability which is close to 0.4505 in table. You will get two values which are 1.6 plus 0.05 equal to 1.65 which is critical value of Z for one tail test for right side and minus 1.65 will be one tail test for left side. In addition, after searching 0 0.4750 probability you will get two values which are 1.9 plus 0 0.06 equal to 1.96 is the critical value of two tail test. Such as minus 1.96 for left side and plus 1.96 is for right side, while on the other hand. In p-value approach, we are searching inside probability value by using 2.19 which we divide into two parts such 2.1 and 0.9 and then subtract its probability from 0.5 to get one tail probability. After that multiply by 2 gives two tail probability. By using standard normal curve of z-table, we also find probabilities same as MS Excel, which is 0.0286 for two tail test p value of Z test. How to get critical values and p value of t test from table? In critical value approach, we are searching from top values to inside tables values in critical value of t when determining t critical values of two tailed test one tailed test either left or right side while. In p-value approach, we are searching two values inside t-table from top values to inside tables values in critical value of t when determining p-value of two tailed test, one tailed test either left or right. The p-value for upper tail value falls in between 0.025 and 0.1 but we can find it with formula given in previous slide. Decision to reject H not by comparing two approaches. In critical value approach regarding decision of Z test, two tail test. The Z test is equal to 2.19 and Z critical are plus minus 1.96. Thus, calculated Z values falls in rejection region and we will reject H not while P value of Z test is less than 0.05. Thus, we will reject H not because we are 95% confident that is P value of Z test is 0.02870 which is less than 0.05. Therefore, results are statistically significant at 5%. In critical value approach regarding decision of T-test, two-tail test. 
the T test is equal to 2.19 and T critical are plus minus 2.7109. Thus, calculated values computed falls in rejection region. Thus we will reject H0. While, p-value of t-test is less than 0.05. Thus, we will reject H0 because we are 95% confident that is p-value of t-test is 0.03870 which is less than 0.05. Therefore, results are statistically significant at 5%. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.